Hello, welcome back to the channel. We're continuing our deep pan week, our cast iron pan week, by making an apple crumble. And the goes need them now. So for this, we've got six bramble apples. Oops, well, I'm trying to be smart there, throwing them down for a height, and then one just fell on the floor. <sighs> Sick, don't do that again. Six bramble apples. <laughs> and then uh, we've got 100 grams of sugar, which I presume that's this white brown sugar that is and uh, we're also going to use a teaspoon of vanilla <laughs> extract well that's a chef's a teaspoon death. that is about a teaspoon of mixed spice we don't want to overdo it with that one so and uh, about a teaspoon of cinnamon as well but I don't mind putting a wee bit extra of that in because I like cinnamon so and then basically just going to mix that up your fingers and uh, make sure we get that all in there. Cover everything up. And then we're going to put it in our cast iron pan. So, and obviously the idea is that that, including the juices of the apple and all the sugar and all that, all caramelizes together. So yeah, it looks quite a lot of apple in there, but that, once it's actually cooking, it'll uh, all sort of reduced down quite a lot so there won't be quite as much in there next next up we've got our mix or crumble mix now what this is is a is oats plain flour sugar and butter so yeah just you can just pour that on uh, I'll put the recipe the full sort of recipe of that in the uh, description and then we just want to press it all down basically and I get it in there like that it's quite simple you could obviously do more crumble mixture if you want I've just sort of used a certain amount that I thought would be about right obviously you can still see the apples in there but hey it's fine it's fine it's going to be good so and it's making a mess so we're going to put that in the oven now and I reckon as the oven temperature does drop down quite fast that this is probably going to take about 20 minutes maybe even 25 minutes uh, but I'll keep an eye on it and I'll let you know how long it takes because we've never tried this before so <laughs> could take 10 minutes for I know but I don't think it's going to be that quick 15, 20, 25 minutes I reckon the oven temperature at the moment is dropping down from 390 so I reckon by the time it gets to about 10 minutes or something we're going to be looking at about 200 uh, so it's constantly dropping down obviously if you feel it's getting a bit too hot in there then you can sort of just open the door up like this and just let it drop down a bit more but for now I'm just going to shut it up and let the temperature naturally drop down and then we're going to set a timer for about 20 minutes and then I'll just keep checking it every 10 probably so Siri set a timer for 10 minutes that worked by the way honest right so we're going to do that and then we're going to come back in a bit see you in a bit okay so it's been in for probably about 15 minutes I reckon so look at that doesn't that look nice it's bubbling away I've checked the apple just to make sure it was cooked and it's it's actually cooked really nicely. Now what I'm quite interested in then is this, if this side's cooked but it does seem to be so it seems to be cooked all over 15 minutes. I've let, like I said at the start I dropped the oven temperature from about 390 and it's now at 284 so it's retained its heat for about 15 minutes uh, about, and dropped about 100 degrees so yeah, it's enough time to be able to sort of bake bread, bake cakes and stuff it can I think it just depends on the day how fast it drops right we managed to do that without dropping it in the floor so that's always a bonus so yeah how good does that look that looks really really nice apple crumble 15 minutes in the Gosney dome dropping from 390 to 284 and it's all caramelized and lovely as you can see and it's it's wood fired so you're never going to get that perfect sort of uniform bake where 
one bit so where it's all the same colour but it's, it's, it's quite nice, it does look quite nice so I guess we're going to try it aren't we? Okay so we're going to get a bit of this, it's going to be nice and crumbly because I put the oats in with the apple crumble I just put that in for a bit of extra crunch as you can see in the apples already they've sort of they have went down but you can see that they're, they're actually nicely cooked and caramelised so yeah it looks gorgeous so yeah we'll be having this for pudding later after our dinner but we just thought we may as well give it a try I mean it'd be rude not to wouldn't it so we'll get some ice cream of course you can have it with custard tell me in the comments whether ice cream or custard the apple oh. crumble tell me yeah I want you to know what one you think's better Right, Custard. this scoop is meant to get the ice cream out, but it's just not doing it. Come on, scoop. You go ice cream, don't you? Oh, the apple crumble, I think, custard for me. Oh, really? But, yeah, oh, but I do like it with ice cream as well, so... Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? All done goes in the dome. Can't wait to try it. Now we get to try it. The best bit of all. That is absolutely perfect. The apple's really soft. It's just got the right amount of sweetness. You get that lovely caramelised taste from the apple. My mouth's what on top. That's how nice it is. It's really, really nice. So yeah, the Gosney Dobe can. Gosney Dobe? Gosney Dobe can cook an amazing wood-fired apple pie. That's really good. That's probably just as good as anything you get in the oven. Maybe better even. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really nice. So yeah, give that a go. Because it's so simple, it's so easy, all you need really is the cast iron pan, we got that one for mini. And then just chuck your ingredients in, chuck it in the oven after you've made the pizza and just forget about it for 15 minutes. And then you get this, easy. So yeah, for more ideas, watch more videos on the channel, like, subscribe, leave a comment, check out the book. We'll see you next time. Bye.